What's up, everybody? Welcome into another Jayhound Tech Tip where we're going to show you how to add a countdown timer in OBS so that you can use this for streaming or any other thing that you use. You can also use this as a timer if you're timing how long it takes you to do something or a countdown to a specific time. Either way, we're gonna show you how to do this very quickly, so let's get into it. Okay, so you're gonna use something called Snaz. It's free, you can download it, you can just search for it. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can just click on it. You're going to download and install, and for what it's worth, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go through the steps very quickly so you understand how to make this process happen and get you set up and get you going in no time. Okay, so when we look at Snaz, there's different things that you can do. There's time, there's date, there's countdown to specific time. You can change the format here and you can try and make some of this happen. And you can change the message here. This is where it's at, but for a lot of people, you're using this whether you're counting down for the stream to start or whether you're counting up because you're timing something, maybe you're speed running and you're trying to show this is how long it's taken me. That exists on the Chronos tab. So this is the really easy part. Now it's already formatted to hours, minutes and seconds. You can change this if need be, but you wanna change what it countdowns from. Let's say it's a five minute timer. You just change this to five minutes. You can t delete the message entirely on message when done, or you can say, you know, stream, loading, you know, when it's done, whatever it is you want to do. Now, here's the part, right? So it installs automatically in the C drive, unless you change this, and it says SNAZ text files chrono down. So you can go and you can find this, or you can just click copy path to clipboard, and this is really easy. There's some other cool things you can do where you can select a sound so that at the end it selects a sound, uh, that it plays some type of audio that plays after it's done. There's something you can do there. Okay, so here's the super easy part, right? So I wanna make sure I copy that path to the clipboard if I'm using the chrono down. I'm gonna go into OBS. I'm gonna click on the plus sign. I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna name this countdown because right now we'll just use this, the countdown. So we'll hit okay. You can change all the, the font settings. You can change the font to something different so it doesn't have to be Arial. You can change the size of the text, all of that stuff here, the color, it's all here. You can change the whether it's vertical, put a gradient on, all the stuff there. But the important part is you go to read from file. You can't paste it here. What you'll need to do is click browse. This does exist in your C drive and the SNAZ in the text file folders and you could actually just manually select this if you want but if you're just on your PC, all you have to do is paste that into the file name section and then hit open and that's gonna be there. Then you can just hit okay. I can go back to SNAZ whenever I'm ready, we're ready to go. I start the countdown and boom, there you go. Now there is a brief one to two second delay. So if you really are about being nitpicky, you can set it to 501, 502. See if you get that same type of delay. I can hit the start, stop button, hit the start at any time, and there you go. It's that simple, and then it starts to so that two-second buffer if you're looking for those perfect numbers. Now, conversely, we can hit stop. We also have the chrono up, so it counts up. And so if I wanted to do this, I would simply copy the path to clipboard here, go back in, click back on browse, go here. Now you can see it's the chrono up text. I can hit open, I can hit OK, and then I can go here. I can click this somewhere off screen and now I've got the countdown coming up and that's all you have to do. That's how you add a countdown timer to OBS or a count up timer depending on how you're trying to utilize this, whether it's for starting your stream or keeping track of how long you've been on a task or maybe a speed run. This is it. This is how it's done. If this video helped you set up your timer and you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment below letting me know as well. If you're looking for more tech tips in the future, be sure to subscribe as that goes a long way to help the channel and its continued growth. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.